Hello everyone and welcome back to Fortnite events. So today I'm gonna show you how to add Colombo to your island, also how to animate that Colombo, how to add sound, how to make it as prop and move it, it around. Also you can go above it like you're playing normal Fortnite game, which is awesome. You can interact with it in any ways. You can also make it as a boss and you can actually kill it. And the first thing we're gonna do is downloading the 3D model for Colombo. I'm gonna give you the link in the description and just visit this website and press here download 3D. Make sure you choose the first one, which is plain. Now, after downloading the file, just unzip it here, open the file, you will find it as blend. You need the Blender software to be able to open that file. I'm gonna give you the link in the description to download it. It's for free, by the way. And after this, what you're gonna do is directly is going to file, export, and just make sure you choose FBX. Don't change the directory because it's it will be exported in the same folder. So now open your Unreal Editor and just make any type of new folder. Just go inside that new folder and drag that Plombo inside new folder make let things a little bit organized then make sure to reset to default and import all you will notice that actually Colombo is white it doesn't have any texture in order to export texture you go back to the blender go to file then go to external data and remove the automatic back resources then go again to files then external data and choose unback resources and then you choose use file in current directory and now we have to wait and after this guys directly go to the sources you will find that there is another uh, folder that have been opened with a texture and i'm gonna select all and in the same folder of the plombo i'm gonna just add and drag them all and now to color plombo you need actually to add this texture into the material i'm gonna double click on the material this one is for body i'm gonna double click for body then i go back here and search for body these all the texture for body i'm just gonna select them all and drag them here okay we have five texture for body just select each one of these and by here you will notice that the it has this the last letter d this this one stands for base color and this one has the last letter e which is this one which is emission a massive color yeah and this one n which stands for normal just drag it to normal this one has letter s which is specular then this one has the letter m which is metallic then after this just apply and now you will notice, remove that, you will notice that actually Plombo started to be color. You have to do the same thing for all the other material, which is actually uh, the eye, the head, the teeth, the tongue, the gums, etc. until you actually get the full color. And now let's start on how to make small animation on Plombo, like moving his head or tail or even movement, but movement's a little bit more advanced. We're going to talk about that later, but now let's talk about small animation we're going to do in Plombo. So firstly, you will see this skeleton mesh right click on that and uh, here create and control break okay and inside this window we have four main components the first one is the viewpoint where we can actually see plombo the second one is the hierarchy where we can see the bones of plombo every time you select one you can see the bones and we need to add control to these bones so we can move each ev and every single bone in plombo so we can actually make our animation this is the forward uh, graph or the control graph where we can actually make uh, the connection between our controls and the, the bones. So we can actually control these bones. And finally here, we can see the details and the other stuff where we can actually meet it later. So uh, as you can see, this is Colombo, of course. I can go to characters and go to bones and I can select all the high keys. So these all the bones that can be found inside Colombo each character ha might have different bones, but most likely you will see the basic that uh, the bones for legs, tails, etc. depends on type of the characters. And the, the bones are a little bit too much, so I'm gonna just go to bones and reduce this size of the bones so we can actually see it. And as you can see, every time you click, this is uh, it select the bone where it's actually responsible for this click. Like let's say I'm gonna select the tail. This is the bone for the tail and it's called C tail, A tail base. This is the main bone for the tail. And if you keep clicking, it will select all the other bones. By the way, the main tail, if this one moves, 
it will move all underneath it because this is has a hierarchy which is always the higher one moves all beneath it okay so if i i make control for that tail i will be able to move all the other as well but if i moved one of these if i move this one i will not be able to move the above it i will only be able to move the underneath it okay so now let's make some controls to these bones in order to make them move and we can animate our crumble so first thing we're gonna click here and make a new control and press control n so i'm gonna the first the second thing i'm gonna unparent this one okay now i have a control as you can see but it's its shape is looking weird so i'm gonna change that shape in into from details i'm gonna go down until shape i'm gonna make it as octagon thick or any other shapes it doesn't matter and i'm gonna click here then scale it to two so as you can see now this is our shape where we can actually move the entire thing but if you try to actually move colombo let's try to move it colombo doesn't move with the shape because we have to add some action into the graph in, uh, to allow this shape moves with colombo so i'm gonna press compile and this is a really basic thing i'm not gonna make any advanced options so i'm gonna just drag this one here and you have two methods either dragging this one here and press get control and actually uh this is directly i'm getting control over this one and i'm just gonna select the bone where i'm i want to get the control at so i'm gonna select this one and i'm gonna set bones and i'm gonna transfer the value from here and make this and as you can see now i have made our first control on that entire body of the Colombo. so if i try to make select this and make any movement you will notice now that Colombo moves with the shape that i have made so now i can control combo and make make him move every time i press compile everything will back to normal so the, the next the next thing we're gonna do is actually controlling controlling any part of the body by the way, you can do the, the same thing of the control by different option and instead of making two windows, which can be sometimes later a little bit confusing, we can make one window by deleting these two and right click and we're gonna uh, search for parent constraint, the first one. And in that case, I'm gonna adding the two windows in just one window. How? We can simply click here. This is the entire thing I'm gonna click here so this is the boon and by the way the boon is called the child and the control called the parent because of, of course parents has control on their in their child so i'm gonna press here and press here and press items and i'm gonna press here to get the control and i'm gonna select that and instead of making two windows we can just make one window and this is a little bit easier and as you can see it's make the same movement but this is the second method which I prefer since it makes things a lot a little bit easier. So I'm gonna start by selecting the bones of the tail. I need to I need the first bone of the tail in order to make the movement of the tail. So this is the first bone. As you can see, this is the first bone, and the entire thing is actually like let's close all of that so we can see it. Okay, I'm trying to close all of them so to make things easier for you to see. Yeah, and you will notice that actually the tail is uh, connected to the pelvis, which is the spine, which is naturally uh, everything will be connected to our spines, even for animals it will be connected to spines. The leg also will be connected to spine. That's why under the root main, you will, fee you will see that spine is connected to many things, which is the hands, the tail, everything. So I'm going to just select the, the tail again. And this time I'm going to make a control for that tail. So simply I'm going to press here and press new control. And by the way, I prefer pressing on the item and making new, to, new control. Th so the controllers become on the control directly. If I try to come here and make a new control, I still can do it. But it's a little bit harder because the controller will be there and I need to move that controller and then change other stuff just to make it on the item. I don't really recommend that. Just make the controller directly on the tail so this is the first controller i'm gonna con make a second controller for the second tail etc so as you can see i don't really need to make that to the end tail it doesn't matter just this is enough and i have made already too many controllers i'm gonna select all of them and going to here to the shape and maybe i will change the color to white then i will press here and uh, sorry uh, yellow i'm gonna change it to circle thick 
And as you can see, this is the controller, but I want to make this controller aligned with that tail. So I need to make a small uh, rotation. I'm gonna go here to the shape transform and just rotate it by 90 degrees. And as you can, as you can see, it's not probably, so I'm gonna control Z, I'm gonna select all of them again, and I'm gonna make rotation 90 degrees in the Y axis. Only the last one is not correct, so I'm gonna just collect, select the last one, which is the, the sixth one. I'm gonna... So now, after making all these circles, by the way, I think it's a little bit, they are a little bit bigger than it should be. So I'm gonna, again, select all these yellow stuff and just click here and put it as 0.5. So now I added some controls for the tail. Every time I, I click, it will show me the controller for that. For that part of the tail but if i try to make a mo movement nothing will happen as you can see the tail doesn't move with me because again we need to make the same thing as we did here so i'm gonna select all of them and select all of them then right click and unparent you can also use a shortcut with shift p and again i'm gonna now or make all these underneath the overall, but start with the first one, which is uh, main or the base tail. I'm gonna just here. Then I'm, I'm I'm gonna make this one connected to this one, just like the bones. Okay, I'm gonna make them connected to each other. And now I'm gonna duplicate this parent and the same uh, the same control seven times in order to control all, all the seven parts of the tail. So I'm gonna. Click here and keep clicking Control C, Control V in order to actually make it more. Yeah, so I already made it as seven times. Now I'm gonna collect uh, again. I'm gonna just drag this one to here, drag this one to here. And now to control these spoons, we need we need to add them in the child section and add the control in the parent section. Each one like related to the same spoon. Okay, so I'm gonna add the first spoon. I'm gonna get this one. This is the first spoon. You can select it, by the way, if you lost, you can select it from here by clicking. It will select it here. So what I'm gonna do to go to the first one and just use item uh, selected. And as you can see, this is the tail. Now I need to add the controllers. I'm gonna go down and select that and do this. And to make things a little bit faster, and instead of selection of selecting each spoon, what I'm gonna do is going to here and search for tail one. As you can see, they are tail one, two, three, ATC until we we reach six tails. So I'm gonna just click on tail one, and I'm gonna to here and just click on that. Then the next one, I'm gonna tail two, click here, go come here and just click on that. Then tail three. And as you can see, I did all the tails and now I have controls for all the tails. Let's test that. I'm gonna click on the control. This is the first tail. Uh, show To show them or hidden them the shape, just press Q on your keyboard. Now I'm gonna make a small movement for the tail. And as you, as you notice, the entire tail is moving with me. Okay? Yeah. And now let's make a... Let's try the second control. You notice that th this part only moving. Let's make this one. This part is only moving. The other part is constant. Let's make a movement for that tail. And this part is only moving. The, the rest of the tail is constant. You can also make a movement for the legs and stuff by, by using the same method. But it's not recommended because there's other method where you can actually move the entire leg together. Which using the control IK. I'm going to I'm gonna talk about that later which is using the IK, but this one uh, needs a little bit more advanced option actually to move the entire leg together. This is will be for another video, of course. Let's read that and I'm gonna save that and let's make our animation. And now to make animation, simply you will drag this control brick and put it on your Fortnite island. And you will notice that this controller that we have made is now showing on the island. And now I can make controlling that entire thing so the first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna disable these so i can make a good movement with, without any problem and i'm gonna select these uh these spoons 
and now I'm gonna just make small rotation just in order to make the rotation perfect try to rotate the entire thing okay I'm gonna just make rotation like this this is just like a perfect rotation I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna press here so uh, now this will be the first pose of my animation now I'm gonna move a little bit to maybe here this will uh, where I'm gonna end my animation because I'm gonna make just a simple animation and I'm gonna make a small dot so now it's actually will move and back to the same position and in the middle exactly which is uh, yeah around 45 or something let, let, let's make it 50 so it's become yeah in the middle exactly at 40, at, 50, at 25 what I'm gonna do is making another rotation but this time I'm gonna make it to the other side so I'm gonna select the first one I'm gonna just drag it to here then the second one then the third one and here yeah so now I have made my first animation for the tail of course you can do the same thing to the head and as i said but this will be need more advanced stuff because you know me you can make uh like head looking at something and point and just move around i'm gonna talk about that later in the in making a full video on the control rig now i'm gonna make that move yeah you see this is the animation so now i'm gonna just drag the timeline to here so it ends here so this will be the animation yep and it will end here so the next thing we're gonna do now is we actually we want to export that animation so i'm gonna right click here and bake animation sequence i'm gonna put it again in the same new folder where i'm working at and press ok and export animation so if you try to add this animation sequence into your island you will notice that once you play that this is just a projectile where you cannot see and it doesn't have any sound or anything so i want to edit that so i'm gonna just uh, delete it from here and i'm gonna coming to here new folder and making a blueprint class okay i'm gonna select it here building props and let's name it clombo clombo blueprint and I'm just double click on that Plombo blueprint. And inside here, guys, we need to drag Plombo to be inside that blueprint. And as you can see in the details, you cannot add it from here because you can only add the static mesh. So I'm gonna just drag the skeleton, the skeleton mesh, which is the pink one, and I'm gonna drag it here. And as you can see, now Plombo has been added to the left side of the component. Okay, this is Plombo and just got added and to make animation simply go to animation tab and select from here the sequence that we have made and now as you can see clombo is moving his tail you can also add other stuff since clombo is now as a prop so you can go to here and change other stuff like you can make a sound for his death you can make explosion for like when he when he dies he make the like the grenade explosion you can also uh, make some sound effect for the break you can also make a this effect like uh, choosing any of these effects so once he dies he make a sound and you can actually make multiple stuff to clombo and I'm, I'm just thinking that you should check all of these out but still, even if you save that and uh, let's close that blueprint. And if you try to uh, drag that blueprint and put it in the island, you will soon notice that inside the game that this blueprint is a projectile you can move through and you can build through and it's not actually a thing. Like it's just a projectile that you can move through and this is not cool at all. So what I'm gonna do is uh, going back to the blueprint and adding some stuff. The first thing I need to add actually a static mesh in order to make this Clombo uh, like you, you, do, you don't move through anymore. So you need to add a static mesh. In order to make a static mesh, you need to add a static mesh the same as the Clombo. So it has the same size, the same everything. So I'm gonna close that window and I'm gonna double click on the skeleton mesh and i'm gonna make a static mesh okay i'm gonna just go to the new folder save it as clompo static 
and I'm gonna press save. Now I'm gonna close this one, and I'm I need to uh, edit some stuff in the Clombo static in the static mesh. I'm gonna double click on that Clombo, and as you can see, this is our static mesh, and I need to add collision to static mesh in order to make it as a prop, or otherwise it will be a problem. So I'm from here. I need to add collision. You choose which type of collision you want. I'm gonna just make it as not this one the the box so any anything appears at this box he will not be able to move through because he simply this will be the collision for colombo uh, i'm gonna just save that and i'm gonna close it and now i added collision to this static mesh so i'm gonna back to the blueprint and in the static mesh folder i'm gonna just add uh, colombo static and as you can see I added Colombo static, but now we will face another problem that this is a static mesh and this is animation. And every time the animation move, the, the static mesh will still the same. So we need to make this static mesh transparent in order to just make it disappear from this. So I'm going to close that again and going back to this static mesh where the static mesh, yes. And in here, we're going to change the material. So I'm going to, uh, instead of this material, I'm going to make any other material, like, 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 let's say this one. And now the color is white, but I still, I needed to make it a transparent. So I'm going to double click on the material. I'm going to delete this one. And I'm, from here, I'm going to click here and I'm going to make transparent. Instead of opaque, I'm going to make transparent or translucent. And as you can see, now it shows only this black orb. And in order to make this disappear completely, I'm going to make here and search for constant and drag this constant to the opacity. And now, as you can see, nothing will show up in the static mesh. So now we have a static mesh, but that, do that doesn't look at all. Like you see, now the static mesh is completely disappeared. I'm going to go back to the blueprint. This is my blueprint. And as you can see, now if I checked, the tail is not there, like, you know, it just disappeared. I'm going to compile and save. Just in case if you're going to move, you're going to make, um, make a movement for the entire body. In that case, you will go back to the static mesh and make sure you do the same thing to all the other parts. So make everything for Colombo disappears so you can actually edit that. And after this, now we have our blueprint ready, but we still need to add music to it. Now you need to go to Google and download the file, but it must be .wav file or otherwise it will not work. Drag this file and put it in the file where we're working on Clombo. And this is the music file. Yeah, this is the music file. As you can see, this is the sound for Clombo. I'm gonna just right click on here and create queue. Okay, then I double click on that queue and I call it Clombo first. Clombo queue, then double click on that one. To open it and as you can see this is the uh, sound if you want to make it as looping i'm gonna again click here if you want to make a looping to a certain point you can search for looping and just break this link and link it to here then link it to here then here instead of making one loop you can make it five six seven it's up to you you can also uh add another item like let's say i'm gonna break this link you're gonna add a mixer so I'm going to drag this to here. And if I click on the mixer, I can change the volume of the sound to make it higher, so high, so everyone can hear it or lower. It's completely up to you. And you can actually add also multiple sounds to the mixer. Let's say you want to add a sound effect at the beginning. Then later you want to add another sound effect. So I'm going to uh, actually drag it and maybe add like three or four different sounds to that mixer. And this is simply, this is, by the way, this is just simply, there is other stuff to sound, like it's need an entire video to make <laughs> how to do sounds in, uh, in, uh, in this program. But anyways, I'm going to just save that. Uh, it's fine. This is just fine. I'm going to close that. And now to add this sound to your blueprint, simply you will double click on the blueprint. Yeah, double, double click on the blueprint and search for the sound. This is the sound. I'm going to just drag it and put it here. So this is the sound, it will just work with Clombo. 
but this is just a basic sound there is of course other details when we can go later in the sound and now i'm gonna just press save and so now once you go inside the game you will notice that now we can actually go above colombo but for some reason the collision is not the best option because as you can see it's a box and like if you try to go here like again still moving to the edge of that box of course you can change that collision to make it something better so you don't really like be like that you you need to actually down once you hit this point because the claw the, the the box on the collision is just on the entire body and to make Colombo killable you need this drop manipulator you're gonna go to all then search for manipulator yes this one just drag it and put it you have to put it near Colombo so to work and just double click on that uh, manipulator and go to details if for some reason I close that details window yeah go to details and now search for health and modify the object health make it like any 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 number you want and maybe maybe just make it like 500 HP so the Colombo HP is only 500 and now let's launch the game and try it and now guys let's try to kill Colombo and see what will happen did you see did you hear that sound effect this is the grenade explosion also the other sound of colombo just disappear because it's connected to colombo it's take a little bit of time to be able to disappear so this is just a normal glitch anyways that's how you're gonna make a colombo as a boss later i will try to make colombo actually make attack but in order to make colombo attacks he need to be move moving first so a movable object so this will be quite hard anyways i will try to make that in in another part it will take of course it will take some time in order to make that and until that time make sure to subscribe and let me know what should be my next video bye